<laughs> I knew it. So, I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, maybe you're right. Maybe I will go ask her. I do feel kind of bad leaving you here on your own, though. I'm fine, really. Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Well, okay. Such an idiot. Oh, Elise. Your Highness? The generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be more than accommodating. I'm fine, honestly. Emma. Oh, Reen. I wasn't expecting to find you here. Oh, well, I wanted to get away from all the excitement for a little while. How's your sister? She's just fine. Actually, she was the one who encouraged me to see you. This might not be the right time since you're trying to rest, but would you dance with me? What? Me? I, I couldn't possibly. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people you'd rather dance with or who are better dancers. Definitely not. But should I take that as a no? <laughs> you should take it as an I'd love to. Whew. That's a relief. Shall we? Everyone's still having fun. <laughs> it makes sense. This festival is practically the culmination of everything we've done since the start of the year. I'm sure everyone has plenty of things they want to talk about with each other. You're probably right. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but keep secrets from all of you since we first met. You don't need to apologize for that. It's not like you were doing it to hurt or trick us or anything, right? Of course not. But I still feel so guilty about having to do it. Even though we've spent so much time together, I feel like I'm not really one of you. That I don't belong here. It's not true. You do belong here. You're an important part of our class and every one of us cares about you. Really? Everybody has their secrets. You don't need to share every little detail of your life for someone to understand you. But if you ever feel like your secrets are too heavy to handle alone, I'm always willing to listen. It doesn't matter what it is. We'll be there, ready to accept it. And whatever it might mean about you. Reen. I'm sure that someday I'll be able to tell you the truth. So, will you be willing to hold on until then? No matter how long it takes. <laughs> Thank you. After that, I went back to see Elise. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. <laughs> 